Today's project is going to be something a little different. Um, my friends own a pottery shop and they asked me to fix this for them. It's a, called a clay pug mill. It recycles the clay so that they don't have to throw it away. The um, story with this is that the gearbox, I think it's a Boston gearbox, uh, probably the worm gear shattered in there. So I've already taken off basically the nose cone of it, but the rest will be done on video. The first thing that I'm going to do is going to be to take the chain off of it. So it's an electric motor and a gearbox. There's a chain connected that I'll show you. Um, I want to take that off so that I can move this um, auger freely. Yeah, we're going to fix it and here we go. Okay, this is what it looks like from the top side. Here's the motor. Here's the chain going to the main auger. This is the big gear. Uh, this is the controller. And then underneath of it is the gearbox. And right here um, is the small chain drive. Unfortunately, since this uh, broke in use, can't spin the chain up to where it would be a good spot for this. There we go. Okay. Chains off. Now I should be able to move the auger. Now I'm going to take the auger out by removing this nut. I already loosened it. Got a washer and the nut and the auger. Should slide out. It does. There's a little o-ring right here you don't want to lose so i'm gonna go ahead and put the washer and the nut back on cleaned out in here shaft is turning freely so i think we can safely move on to the gearbox it looks like that was where all the damage happens i need to be able to slide this motor out of this hole right here so the next thing i gotta do is take off this whole uh electrical wiring box Now let me take out the wiring. I'm going to leave this wiring hooked up except for the ground I need to take out and then there's two bolts that hold this plate on. So I'm just going to take out the ground first. I think these are 5 sixteenths. Ground. These are different than the K, the bolts up here, so make sure you keep them separated. Two of those. <clears throat> now we can move our box. So the box is off now. Now I need to take the wires out of this end so that I can slide them through here and out with the motor, hopefully. Okay, from this box, <clears throat> they follow this uh, conduit right here into this green so greens on the far right then white then red then black now I have my wires here I'm gonna go ahead and undo this uh, wire this nut for this conduit and hopefully pull this stuff out of here Okay, everything else stays on the motor. Here's the ground wire because that was in this screw hole right here. And the other end was on this PE. So everything else will stay with the motor. Okay, nothing else is holding this motor here except the motor mounts and those are underneath the gearbox and they go straight down. So now I'm gonna work on taking those out. Here's the back of the pug mill. That's the air compressor. And then if we look up here, those are the motor mounts. Those are the ones I'll be taking out. Okay, motor mounts are out. I should be able to slide this over enough to, making sure my wires aren't in the way, slide this over enough to get at these bolts for the um, gearbox. 
Okay, what I'm trying to do is get this cable that's underneath of it over, so give me a minute. Okay, I have the motor slid out, the wires out, and then on the inside, I have the gearbox exposed here. Now I need to get at the housing bolts right here. There's four of them that go all the way around so that I can split the motor from the gearbox. All right, I'm trying to break them loose if I can. And it's nice, I see they have spots to put a pry bar in to pry this apart. Okay, now I'm going to try to split the motor from the gearbox. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but now it's out. I'm just going to try to wiggle it free. There we go. Just popped loose. motors out I think I need to take this control box slide it over and bring it straight up through here since this bar is right here so let's work on that taking this control box out is pretty easy you just gotta loosen these two bolts up right here and I'm hoping that I can basically lift it up and set it out of the way okay yes that's what I was hoping for. Now let's see if we can get the gearbox out of it. Man, it is really nasty in there. Now, hopefully I can stand this up somehow. is out and there's one nasty mess in there here's what we've been trying to get at the whole time this gearbox something is obviously wrong I should be able to spin that so we're gonna have to get in here and see what happens you can see that the oil seal is not there and yeah the I'll show you guys in a minute, but the bearing is gone for sure. All right, this collar is eight mil. Might be hard for you to get them off sometimes if you don't uh, if you don't have a shot bearing like this. But since this won't turn freely, it should be pretty easy to get off. I think all I'm gonna do is move the screws one position to the this way and it should push itself off and you can tell when you're doing it right because basically the next one the next in sequence is already loose so i'm not having to crank on it at all see this one's already loose it's getting there now there it is here we have our woodruff key the oil seal that obviously got blown out and i don't know if you guys can see this but there is a lot of carnage in here once i get this plate off we'll be able to see all right now i just need to spin this plate a little bit and i can pry it up so first I'm going to try the least harmful option of a rubber mallet, see if I can spin it, and I can. Okay, now you basically have two pry points, one in the front and one in the back. So, let me get some stuff to pry with. 
All right, I just have two screwdrivers, and I don't know. Hopefully that's enough. If not, no, it's oh, easy. Here we go. It's got one sham on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but most of the time you want to know, basically it has one shim. Um, honestly, the seal looks decent. This is, yeah. Let me zoom in on that for you guys. That is the carnage right there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> pull this... Uh, gear out of here if I can I think I can Whew. yeah see all the this is what the bearing should look like that's what it does look like so yeah we got some problems going on here but at least it's not the worm gears um, there's a whole bunch of oil in this, so I'm going to dump this out and we'll continue on. We'll open up the other side. Get my two screwdrivers and just gently start prying up. There we go. Okay. As you can see, it still looks, the seal looks okay. I mean, there's just tons of metal shavings in here. Okay, and importantly, there's one shim on here as well. Oh, nope, there's two shims on here, okay. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is take these four bolts out so I can get this uh, housing off. No shims. Um, now I'm going to try to pull this out of here, hopefully. <clears throat> All right, next thing I'm going to do is try to pop this seal out from the underside. <clears throat> All right, got the seal out. After messing with it for quite a while, I realized that <clears throat> you have to pry this back cap off. That's how you get this shaft out. Um, this is just all grease. Just gonna clear this out so I can get to the snap rings. I got the snap ring out. I went ahead and I had to go buy a much bigger tipped snap ring so that I could properly get it out of there. Basically, there's these two wafers in here like this, and then the snap ring went down. So once I got the snap ring out, I took these two wafers out, and now this should slide out this way. Might have to tap on it a little bit. There we go. Okay, now I have the worm gear out. Now I can clean this bearing out. And as you can see, there's one more snap ring in here that I'll take out so that I can clean this whole base up. Got these on Amazon like overnight. They were pretty cheap and so far I like them. There we go. Just like that when you have the right tool for the job so two snap rings and the wafers that's going to do it for today's video we disassembled the plug mill so that we could get the motor and the gearbox out then we split the gearbox from the motor and completely disassembled the gearbox so now we'll inspect everything we'll clean everything up get some new bearings and get it all put back together Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.